The core scale clip wing cub by the World Models is a pretty large airplane. Uh, it has a flying weight from 14 to 16 pounds and it has a 88 inch wingspan. The manual and the website recommend a 91 2 stroke or a 1.2 to 1.6 4 stroke. I have a Sato 180 which is just a little above that and I think it would be a good engine for the airplane. It has a distance of five and a half inches from the thrust washer to the back of the carburetor. The spacing in the cowl is 5.8 inches from the firewall to the face of the thrust washer or the front or the front of the cowl. So this engine will fit except for one problem in terms of mounting it upside down. The exhaust exits to the rear and it has a short header pipe to the muffler. It's, it's a curved pipe that um, brings the muffler out. And if you hold the engine up inverted, you can see the muffler gets in the way. Uh, probably have to make some modifications to actually get this engine in up inverted. However, it would work mounted on the side and that would be fine. Um, I'm certainly going to consider that. If I don't use it on this cub, I'll probably use it on another one. But I want to go with gas. <clears throat> a 26 to 28 cc gas engine with a side intake would probably be just the ticket for this airplane. However, I have several engines that I've been working with and they're all candidates. I'm getting close to a decision and I'll show you what what these engines are and what the issues are and I'll go from there. The first engine is a MLD 35. This is a relatively inexpensive engine. It runs pretty well if you use a RC Excel ignition on it. I've test run it on the test stand and uh, the stock ignition didn't do too well but after I changed to the RC Excel it ran very well. The distance from the thrust washer to the back of the standoff is about six and three eighths inches so it's a little long to put into this engine. I could use shorter standoffs and I would have to cut a hole in the firewall. That's not a big deal as the firewall is 11 millimeters thick and it's plenty strong to have a hole cut out for a carb. So with this engine um, it's a possibility but I'm not sure I want to go with that engine. The OS GT33 is also a candidate. I have one and three quarter inch standoffs on this one which is enough to clear the carb and have breathing space. With the one and three quarter inch standoffs it's six and three eighths from the firewall to the thrust washer so the thrust washer would be sticking out. OS makes standoffs in quarter inch increments from a quarter inch up to two inches. I could get one and a half inch standoffs or one and a quarter inch standoffs and cut a hole in the firewall and, that, and that's a possibility. The only issue with the OSGT33 is that the muffler sticks back pretty far and the DLE30 muffler while it has the same mounting pattern has interference with the lug so I can't use a DLE 30 muffler I'd have to use a header and canister or a tune pipe so I don't think I'm going with the GT33 I will use the GT33 in a uh, P51 giant scale airplane 
The DLE 30 is another candidate. Uh, the DLE 30s have a list or have a uh, street price of around $285. Uh, um, it's a pretty economical engine. There are a lot of clones of it um, that have the same mounting pattern. So if I need to switch out the engine for some reason, or if I want to sell the airplane, somebody's likely to have a DLE 30 size engine. Uh, the DLE 30 is 6.2 inches from the face of the standoffs to the face of the thrust washer. Like the other two engines, I can use shorter standoffs and cut out the firewall for the carburetor. And the only issue with the DLE 30 and the OS standoffs is that there are screws to hold the back plate to the crankcase that interfere, but I can grind off a, a side of the uh, standoffs and use OS standoffs. So if I use two inch standoffs, instead of these 2.36 standoffs, it'll be a lot closer to fitting in the cowl properly. Uh, but I can go ahead and mount the engine. I don't have a set of 2 inch OS standoffs, so I'll have to get them. But I can go ahead and mount the engine and be getting things ready while I'm waiting on the standoffs because I do have some quarter inch spacers from PSP Manufacturing and I can um, effectively mount the engine and see where things are going to be. The DLE 30 should be a good choice for this airplane. It'll have plenty of power and it'll have the convenience of um, using only gas and a lot lower operating cost. And I don't think making it fit will be too much of a problem. World Models provides plastic cow templates for a lot of their airplanes so that you can mark the templates where your, your openings are going to be and then cut the cow to size. If I put the DLE 30 under the cow, even with the existing standoffs, I can see that it'll fit pretty well in the, in the cow. I shouldn't have any rubbing or anything. Um, so my decision is to go with the DLE 30. I'll have to do a little bit of firewall work, but the DLE 30 is a very reliable and stable engine, and I think it'll be a fine engine for this airplane. I didn't have a DLE 30 template handy, so I drew one up in Visio, and I just printed it on paper, and I'm going to cut it out, and I'll place it on the firewall while I'm placing the engine and it should help keep my, my bolts aligned properly. So I've mounted the engine and I put the cowl on. The first set of holes I drilled were actually too low. I had the nose drooping when I positioned the engine and somehow I didn't realize it. I drilled another set of holes a quarter inch up and now the alignment of the cowl is good. I'll make a template so when I put another one of these together, I'll know exactly where to put the engine and I'll probably draw it up and put it on the Airborne Model Showcase website. Um, the thrust washer does stick out. Uh, it looks like a lot, but really if it was back three eighths to a half of an inch, it would look a lot better. I'll have to decide if it's worth the work on the, on the firewall and cutting out a hole for the carb. Um, I probably will, just so it's at least an option. Um, 
because I, I can always use the longer standoffs if uh, if there's an issue with having the car further back in the firewall. So um, So the engine's mounted and I can see now where to mark to cut out for the carb um, and I'll go ahead and draw that out. So this is how I've got the engine mounted and if you put the transparent cow in position you can see that the muffler is going to be sticking down right on the side. It'll be under the dummy engines. Shouldn't look too bad. Um, I think it'll work out just fine. Now the real question is, is, am I going to cut that hole in the firewall? I probably will go ahead and do that because I can always just use the longer standoffs even if uh, having it further back doesn't work too well. I think it will be no problem to cut the hole though. So anyway, I'm going to mark it and cut the hole in the uh, firewall and then I'll mount the engine again. <laughs> 